says people who live following their sinful selves think only about what they want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ain't never now about what I want. Not now. It's all about what he wants. I mean, can't nobody do you like how he did you, and now you yeah. still want your way? <laughs> well, think about that now. Can't nobody do you like how he did us, mm -hmm. and gonna go through that length to set us free from one law, and, and put us under another law, mm -hmm. and now you still want your own way? Because under the law, old law, they got to do it their way. Mm -hmm. Under the old, they got to do it their way. Mm -hmm. And they suffered the consequences. Amen. Under old, they were found guilty, mm -hmm. doing it their way. But under the new, mm -hmm. you don't get to do it your way. Right. Because there's a new shelf in time. Hallelujah. And he said, do it my way. Mm -hmm. Be led by my spirit. Thank you. Let me help you. We live following the spirit. People who live following their sinful selves think only about what they want. That's why Jesus told me, if any man come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, follow me daily. It's no longer I that live it. It's no, no, no longer my wants that live it. Oh, but it's Christ that liveth in me. Glory! In the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. Took away Glory. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Lord. But those who live Father in the Spirit are thinking about what the Spirit wants. Mm -hmm. Oh, we didn't see. We talking about that and they ain't got to it. <laughs> so now, so now, but those who live Father in the Spirit are thinking. See, your thinking changes. Yep. Your thinking goes from what you want. Yep. Now you're thinking. Now you're thinking about what the Spirit wants you to do. Mm -hmm. Do you have that on your mind? Yep. I'm thinking about what the Spirit wants me to do. Glory. Yeah. What is it that the Spirit wants me to do? I have that on my mind now. Mm -hmm. Because my mind been open to the glorious gospel of Jesus. The light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. My mind's been open. And so I found out and I realized that's what my mind needs to stay focused on. Yeah. I will keep thee in perfect peace. peace. Whose mind it stayed on me? It stayed on who Jesus is, You're right? And Glory. what He did for them. But those who live Father in the Spirit are thinking about what the Spirit wants them to do. Why you always do that? Because the Spirit led me. Mm. Why come you don't do that? Because the Spirit didn't lead me to do it. Yeah. Why you always do that? Why y'all always talk loving and kind to people? Because the Spirit is leading me to do that. Amen. Why come you always forgiving? You know, God has placed in you to forgive others the same way. Amen. He forgave you through Christ Jesus. Why you always doing that? Because that's the Spirit's way of living through me. That's His way. Amen. That's His way of thinking. You know, you know, the, the, the spirit, y'all shout on Sunday. Oh, yeah. The spirit going to thought out what you need to do tomorrow before you can. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Glory. Let's sleep tonight. He already know what you need to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he already know. Yes. And you know why? You, you know what? He, 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 he you know what? You, 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 know, you shout about this dude. The spirit of God wants to lead you now, right now. He, 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 he's thinking about what you ought to do right now. Mm -hmm. What you ought to do right now. Mm -hmm. He ain't even thinking about what you did yesterday. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's, good, that's a good place to shout at. Yeah. Yeah. He's not even thinking about what you did yesterday. Mm -hmm. He's thinking about leading you right, right now. Right. Hallelujah. Right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because he's a right now God. He's an on-time God. So he's, he, 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 he wants to plant something in you to do right now. now. Right now. Right now. Oh, I said right now. If your thinking, I'm not thinking, mm -hmm. is controlled by your sinful self, mm -hmm. there is spiritual 
death. Indeed. Two ways to think. But if your thinking is controlled by the Spirit, there's life and peace. Thank you, Jesus. Sweet. So our thinking is controlled by sinful self, mm -hmm. or our thinking is controlled by the Spirit. All right. Which one knows you better? Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit. Which has your best interest at heart? The Holy yeah. Spirit. But 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 we we so love this, mm -hmm. and we think this is better mm -hmm. to control us than. Uh, than, than being controlled by the Spirit. Mm, that's good. Thank you, Lord. Who really knows what this is all about? Yes. Who really knows what a sinful self is all about? Mm -hmm. He knows. Because, see, this change in the garden. Yeah. Yeah, this sure did. This ain't how God made it. Mm -mm. That's right. Oh, this right here was perfect. Mm -hmm. In the garden. Mm -hmm. yeah. This got messed up in the garden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This had nothing about the can getting old. That's right. Sinful in the garden. Amen. Right. But man in the garden messed this up. Amen. That's right. And this is the part. Sinful self is the only part that has not been redeemed. Mm -hmm. Flesh. Your flesh has not been redeemed. Right. Mm-mm. Only part of our redemption of, of our redemption that we haven't re that we haven't received. Mm -hmm. yeah. We we, we waiting patiently mm -hmm. for the return of Christ in order that we receive a glorified body. Lord. Amen. I said we waiting patiently. Yes, we mm -hmm. And then once we receive, now y'all just really shout on this. Y'all jump up on your seat. <laughs> y'all said, Pastor, I jump because I ain't have a seatbelt on. <laughs> That's right. This already made the shout. <laughs> Dad, when you receive your glorified body, you will never be thinking to make a decision about sinful self again. Glory! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you'll never be thinking sinful self because them days will be over for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once you receive your eternal glorified body, yes. you'll never have to deal with the temptation or the deception as far as yeah. right. sinful self. Glory. Days of sinful self will be completely what? Over. 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 For how long? Forever. 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 Glory. So that's that's that, that's where you'll never ever have sinful, 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 selfish thinking again. Amen. Glory. But in this body, you have to deal with it. Yep. In this body, you have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. Yes. And you have to put your flesh what? Under? Yeah. And the Bible says, put your flesh under. Amen. And you ain't ruling. <laughs> you put your flesh under. Yep. Said so you give, I give no place to a sinful, selfish self. Give no place. But there'll come a time when you receive your glorified body. Hallelujah. You'll never have those kind of thoughts again. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, you know that temptation days are soon to be over. Yes. Glory. Glory. Glory to God. It's soon to be over. And then it says, why? Why is this? Why is this? Why is this? Why? But if your thinking is controlled by the spirit, there is life and peace. If your thinking is controlled by sinful self, there is spiritual death. It says, why is this true? Why is this true? Because Anyone who's thinking is controlled by their sinful self is against God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're quenching or you are, right. what's the other? Grieving. 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 It's not like you're quenching or grieving the Holy Spirit because yep. you are against God. Now think about it. You're against God? We just talked about what he did for you through Christ. Mm -hmm. And now you want to go against him? 
You want to go against him? Why we want to go against him when we know he came and he fulfilled what the law of sin and death needed to set us free. Mm -hmm. And then now we under, because, you know, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, he, 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 he helped us to move from one law to another. And now we want to be against him. Hmm. Against God. It says they refuse to obey God's law. Now, you know, hey, you know, because the new chef in town, he got some laws. We're not just free to run and do whatever we want, not what we want. You don't do it. Nobody would do ever what they want in heaven. Right. right. Nobody would do whatever they want to do in heaven. And so now when we have the spirit of Christ on the inside of us, we, we have to realize, no, we can't just do whatever we want to. Glory. But it says some people just refuse. It's, it's, it's not saying they don't know God's law, but they refuse to obey Mm -hmm. It's just like it's just like it's just like a lot of times when I'm on I, I, I get off the interstate 24 I go up Harding Place and then I turn right right there I think it's a Shell gas station but a lot of times the light is red and I, I don't even stop when it's red you're supposed to stop not slow down and turn or you're supposed to stop yep, that's and I'm, I be thinking I'm like oh police gonna get me one day. And so what? There's a voice telling me, police gonna get me one day. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But then just like, you know, last night I did the same thing. <laughs> long as we think we getting away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. My Lord. We'll keep refusing to obey God's law. That's right. Oh, that's good. Because we thinking we getting away with something. That's right. And so then, you know, like, you know, there's a voice been telling me, you need to stop. And so then when the police turn the siren lights on and they stop it and said, you didn't stop at that red light before you turned. Well, yes, I did. No, I know I would be lying if I said that. I know I didn't stop. The Spirit of God already gone told me, stop, 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 stop. Don't slow down, but stop. Don't do a rolling turn. Yeah. But stop. And then, you know, and then there's a voice that said, well, I don't know why you're messing with me. Why don't you go get some real criminals? I'm a tax paying citizen in Davidson County. Why are you messing with me? But then there was another law that was at work <laughs> telling me to do what at that red light? Stop, stop, stop before I turn red. Yes. Mm -hmm. There was a warning. Sometimes we don't yield to the warnings. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes, you know, persons, you know, there's some warning signs your body telling you certain things, do this, do that, check this out, check that out, and then you don't yield to the warnings, and then you go to the doctor, and the doctor said, well, this is wrong, that is wrong, that is wrong, and then you all just start hearing that voice say, I told you, I told you last year to go. Mm -hmm. I told you last year to stop eating that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. And then you want to blame the doctor. Oh, y'all just want my money. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I was a doctor, I would want your money. Yeah. Cause practicing is not free. That's right. Mm -hmm. If you go to a restaurant today and you go out to eat, if you give you if what's the exchange and they give you some food, they gonna want your what? Money. They gonna want your what? Money. They gonna want your money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you know, oh, them doctors they just practicing. They just always trying to find something wrong. Well, but I can understand you might say that, but then when there's been a voice on the inside telling you. Yep. Amen. And you refuse to obey that voice mm -hmm. and what that voice is telling you to do. Stop eating this, stop eating that. You know, you know, do this exercise or, you know, go to the doctor. Go go get your physical, go get your checkup. Mm -hmm. Go do it, go do it, go do it. And you don't do it. You are, hear me now, you are disobeying laws for your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. your, your, your body has some laws. And many times we disobey the laws for our bodies. Mm -hmm. My Lord. Yeah. <laughs> but there's some laws that govern even our physical body. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Y'all know that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the only way, the only way to really 
in, in, in your freedom as far as the law of your physical body is get under the anointing of God. Amen. Glory. And the anointing of God removing burdens and destroying yokes off of your physical body. Amen. Glory. Because the anointing of God ain't gonna show up to judge you, but that you might live free. Yes. yes. Amen. <clears throat> that you might live free. Hallelujah. I said that you might live free. Because the anointing of God. He said, well, I just can't stop. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't, I can't afford to go to the doctor. You can't afford not to go. Amen. If, 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 if you could really see how much money patients owe the medical field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. You would have went yesteryear. Mm -hmm. Say, oh. And then you see the people who, who, who should live and not die. Because they went, it, it, it's, it's best to have a bill that you can barely pay two dollars and fifty cent a month, than to not to go to the doctor. Because you already him and there, you have already received the help. Amen. <laughs> Glory. You already have received the help, so it's best to go and owe than not to go and not owe. Amen. You go and they help you, and but it's best to have a bill. Then not to go in your situation that that law of sin and death just keep working, it keep working, it keep working, it just keep working. Amen. <laughs> and medical science, I, I heard a preacher pastor say years ago, thank God for medical science. It wasn't for medical science, a whole lot of people would be dead today. That's right. yeah. I mean, they'd be dead, a whole lot of people would be dead today. That's right. That's right. And my daughter, my daughter was watching something, I forgot the name of the movie. But it was some kind of uh, virus that spread across the whole United States. Many people began to die, but they came out with a cure. And they was testing it. And even while they was testing it, people were dying. And they was wondering out, well, how are we going to get this vaccine out to everybody? How, how are we going to? And they, she said they ended up doing it by birthdays. And so if, if, if your birthday was in December, you could have died, even with there being a cure. And I forgot all the rest of the movie. <laughs> but, uh, but, but you know, you, 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 can, you can live and not die. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Even without there being a cure. That's right. Hear me now, as far as medical science. Because mm -hmm. medical science don't have the answer for everything as far as the law of sin and death working in your body. But thank God for the spirit of life that's in Christ Jesus. It has a cure for everything yeah. that's Thank been you, working in your body. Yeah. And you ought to be talking about that every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But there ought not don't be no foolishness now that, that when, hey, since the law of the spirit of death, the spirit of life that's in Christ Jesus working in my body, I don't have to go to the doctor. I don't have to go. No, 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 no. That's foolishness at what Dr. Casey Price said. Mm -hmm. He wrote the book. Yeah. He went to the doctor. He's received medical treatment. His wife has received medical treatment. Yeah. Even though he wrote the book about faith, foolishness, and presumption. Yeah. He said people are foolish. He said if you can't. In, in his book, I'll never forget. He said now. He said he said it was a lady. Her and her husband went to this meeting. The lady was believing God for her eyes to be restored to 2020 vision. She couldn't see nothing. And she believed God. You know, you know, she, she was believing God for her, her eyesight to be restored. She you know she could see she had some vision. But uh after that after that after that preacher prayed, laid hands on her eyes and she took her glasses off and then said her husband, her husband was just in, you know, he just like just messed up, having fits, and said, well, preacher, pastor, we need to we need to see you. He said, we need to see you. My wife gonna kill you, but she gonna kill herself. My my, my wife is gonna kill herself, and she gonna kill me. <laughs> so said she gonna kill me, and she gonna kill herself because ever since that preacher came and laid hands on her eyes, she been driving. Oh boy! <laughs> without her glasses on, <laughs> and she can't see. She blind as a bat. That's what the the husband said. Can you convince her to put her glasses back on until she heal? <laughs> and Dr. Price said, that's foolishness. Mm -hmm. 
Because if you driving without your glasses and you, you know, you running into everything, yeah. you haven't had the manifestation. Right. <laughs> and you better put, do what? Put your glasses, glasses back on. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what you said, well, I'm healed, healthy, and whole. I have 20-20 I have vision. Where you got 20-20 vision? Why are you running into stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like foolishness. <laughs> now God gave man knowledge, wisdom, how to make glasses. Yeah. Save people from wrecks. Yep. Helping people to read. Mm -hmm. Helping people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Help it. Yeah. Help it. Yep. Help it. Yeah. Amen. So, you know, don't, 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 don't be, don't, don't be going against the law of eyeglasses. Amen. Yeah. I'd rather put my glasses on and my eyes not strain. But people say, well, why come you just can't believe God for healing your eyes? Well, sometimes I see badly and sometimes I don't with my glasses off. Mm -hmm. and so, but then sometimes you just know, hey, hey, thank God for glasses. Mm -hmm. I don't really need them to drive. That's why I'm glad it ain't on my driver's license. I passed the test back in 19. <laughs> hey, I'm making sure I'm going to take that test again. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I don't want that on my license. Because I even know I drive with my, my glasses out, but I don't want that on my license. <laughs> and so, you know, I, you know, hey, when there's a law that's work, and God says, you know, there's some people who refuse to obey my laws. They refuse to obey. Well, thank God for the laws that we obey. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all got to catch that, Sam. Yeah. Thank God for the laws that we obey. Yeah. Spiritually, soulishly, and, and uh, physically, thank God for the laws that we obey. Yes. As far as spirit, soul, and body. thank God for the laws that we obey. Amen. It says they refuse to obey God's law, and really they are not able to obey it. That's, that's a bad place to be in. Mm -hmm. It says those who are ruled by their sinful selves cannot please God. How many of you think are you pleasing him today? Amen. It says, but you are not ruled by your sinful selves. Thank God we don't have to be ruled by our sinful selves. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. You are ruled by the Spirit. If that Spirit of God really lives in you, right. does the Spirit of God really lives in you? Because we asked you earlier in relation to you, where is the Spirit of God? And you said what? Living inside of me. Living inside of me. Is that good news? Yeah. 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 Is that good news? You are ruled by the Spirit if that Spirit of God really lives in you. But whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ. Right. How many of you are thankful that you belong to Christ? Hallelujah. And you have the Spirit of Christ in you. And because you have the Spirit of Christ in you, that's an indicator that you belong to Christ. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Your body will always be dead because of sin. We give them dead bodies um, more credit than what it really needs. Body dead to sin. Is that what it's saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if your but if Christ is in you, then the Spirit gives you life. Mm. Because Christ made you right with God. God raised Jesus from from death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if God's Spirit lives in you. He will also give you life to your bodies that die. That's what we're talking about, glorifying the body, glorifying body. Mm -hmm. Yes, God is the one who raised Christ from the dead. Yeah. And he will raise you to life through his spirit living in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. you must not be ruled by our sinful selves. We must not live the way our sinful selves want. If you use your lives to do what your sinful selves want, you would die spiritually. But if you use the Spirit's help 
to stop doing the wrong things you do with your body. But if you use the Spirit's help to stop doing the wrong things you do with your body, I see the only only the Spirit can help you to stop doing to stop doing wrong things with your body. It's just like the tongue. No man can what tame. The body, can nobody tame it? You can't tame your body. Only with whose help? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit's help. Holy Spirit's help. Mm -hmm. help. That's why you need the Holy Spirit working in you, ruling your life, guiding you. Amen. Helping you. Because without Him, your body is out of control. control. Y'all get that? That's right. Amen. Once again, it says, but if you use the Spirit's help, thank God for the helper, the Spirit, Amen. to stop doing the wrong things you do with your body, you will have true life. The true, the true children of God are those who let God's Spirit lead them. Mm -hmm. True children of God. The Spirit that we receive it's not a spirit that makes us slaves again and causes us to fear. No, no, that's no fear in Christ, is it? No. The spirit that we have, the spirit that we have, y'all shout on Sunday? Yeah. The spirit that we have makes us God's chosen children. Glory. Yes. Hallelujah. How many of y'all thankful that you're God's chosen? Glory. Yeah. And with that spirit, we cry out, Abba, Father. Oh. And the Spirit Himself speaks to our spirits and makes us sure that we are God's children. That's the greatest testimony Hallelujah. that you have ever received. Hallelujah. The Spirit testifying with your spirit that you are a child of God. Hallelujah. If we are God's children, now come on, anybody God's children in here? God's Hallelujah. children? Hallelujah. If we are God's children, we would get the blessings. God has for his people. Glory. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And that just made us sad. <laughs> if we are God's children, mm -hmm. we would get the blessings God has for his people. Glory to God. If we are God's children. That's why the Spirit testifies to your spirit that you are a child of God. Yeah. Glory. Qualifying us for God's blessings. Yes. Hallelujah. Qualifying us for God's blessings. Because He's saying, You God's child. Yes. And because you are God's child, that 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 qualifies you for. It's That's right. mm -hmm. If we are God's children, we would get the blessings God has for his people. He would give us all that he has given Christ. Mm -hmm. Am I quiet in here? Glory. Do, do you want all oh, yes. that 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 he has given Christ? Mm -hmm. Come on, that 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 that's again. Let me, let me see. He will give us all that he has given Christ. Yeah. <laughs> and the enemy try to convince you you need something outside of Christ. Mm -hmm. Same way he did Adam and Eve in the garden. Mm -hmm. Has God said? Did God mean? You eat this fruit, you're going to be like God. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, too many people go to church, they, they go around saying, I wish God would bless me. <laughs> You ever hear anybody say that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. God blesses everybody except for me. Mm -hmm. They don't know this to live it. Mm -hmm. I wish God would bless me. I wish God would bless me. That's not how children of God talk. Right. I said that's not how children of God talk. Because we know he will give us all that he has given Christ. He has given Christ. Why did he give what he gave Christ? Why did he give this, that to Christ? Because he what? Loves. He loved it. So you know what this is saying? 
he loved us just as much as he loved his son. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Glory. He oh, loves yeah. you just as much as he loved Thank his you. son. Glory to God. He loved you just as much as he loved his son. Jesus is in love with you. Jesus loved you just as much as he loved his son to restore the same blessings on the same blessings. You know why he bestowed the same blessings on you? Because the son qualified us yes. Yes. to receive the same blessings. Amen. He qualified us. He paid the price for us to receive the same blessings. Mm -hmm. Glory. But we must suffer like Christ suffered. Yeah. Then we will be able to share his glory. Hallelujah. How many of you thank God for his glory? Glory. And that you're going to share in his glory. Hallelujah. What, what, what greater blessing you, than to share in his glory? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the last scripture I promise. 2 Corinthians chapter 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17. I just want y'all to see this. This is what I thought I was going to teach all day long today. In Sunday school and in worship service. Just this one scripture. But in, in out of that one scripture, we got all of this. From Sunday school and church service, we got all of this. Because when God began to speak to me, he gave me all of that. Praise the Lord. For this. From this. So 2 Corinthians 3.17. In the easy reading version, it says, The Lord is the Spirit. I got when I read out like I was shy, I was shy on this verse here. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> you got that thing? This is one of my favorites. The Lord is the, the Lord is the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where's the Spirit in relation to me? Yeah. Inside. So that means the Lord is in me. That's right. That means the Lord is in me. Mm -hmm. The Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is. So you see. There is freedom. There is freedom. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so many times we need to be reminded of our freedom. Hallelujah. Many times we need to be reminded of our freedom even during a Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because of brave men and women who died in order to that we might enjoy the freedoms that we have in the United States of America. If you yeah. ever go overseas. You'll want to, they told us that when we went overseas to Africa and London. They said, when you get back, you'll want to kiss the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some of the places that we went and some of the things we observed and saw, it make you, when you got back, to want to kiss the ground and your freedom yes, that you have here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's just like, we have freedom here in the United States that some other countries and nations don't have. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's just like true. in Christ Jesus, we have some freedom that we enjoy. Mm -hmm. That people who don't have Christ in their life are not enjoying. Right. And so, you know, just like they said, when you go there and you come back here, you want to kiss the ground. Mm. But but when I have experienced my freedom in Christ, it makes me want to love him more. Yes. Glory. It makes me want to worship him. Yes. It makes me want to praise him more. It makes me want to give him the highest honor, the glory highest glory, the highest praise. praise Jesus. Hallelujah. When I, when I look at and realize that there's some people in this world that are not as free as I am, that's not as free as I am, mm -hmm. because who the Son has set free, come on now, is free indeed. Oh, have you been set free? Yes. So does it make you want to kiss his feet? Yes. Wash his feet with your hair? Yes. Like Mary Magdalene did Brother Joe Pack that he, he patted his ball head. I don't have enough hair. I don't have enough hair to wash his feet. But you might think go buy you some. You can always buy some, brother. And then when you get buy you some, get enough of that other FC on that pew for he can have enough too. Y'all be washing Jesus' feet. Yes. <laughs> um, well, you know, ain't nothing bad to go to heaven and wash his feet. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mary Magdalene, she had vision and understanding. Mm -hmm. This Jesus. And so, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Freedom. Yes. I mean, you're thankful for your freedom today. Stop your feet. Stop your feet. 